Hey guys, so today I styled my hair using a bowl. Now, I never really thought that I would be using an object from my kitchen to style my hair, but it seemed to have worked pretty well. So the specific styling routine that I tried today is called the bowl method. This is something that I had heard about for a long time, but to be honest, I was not interested in trying it. Before I moved to New York, I didn't have a bowl that I could use. I only had like super heavy ceramic bowls and I not like a lightweight plastic bowl. So I didn't feel comfortable bringing something like that into my bathroom. And I was like, I don't feel like buying a bowl. But now that I've moved, my roommate had a bowl that was perfect. So I'm gonna show you guys my first go at the bowl method. And then afterwards, we're gonna kind of talk through my thoughts on how it went and the routine in general. But before we hop into it, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, here we do all things curly hair. So if you wanna rock your best curls, make sure to tap that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified every time I post. Saying that part honestly gets me out of breath. <laughs> all right, let's get into it. So I'm starting at the end of my wash day routine. So I still have all of my conditioner in my hair, but I'm just brushing it to get it upside down. Next, I'm going to rinse it out using Squish to Condish. This is gonna create some really nice clumps, which is perfect for this routine because I'm not gonna be doing any raking or disturbing of the clumps afterwards. So next, I'm just gonna take my bowl and my first styling product, which is Diva Curl Styling Cream, and I'm gonna apply this using the roping technique. And once again, I'm over the bowl, that way any excess product and water drips into it. So next I'm going to flip from side to side while scrunching. So the flipping from side to side is going to keep the hair on the back of my head from sticking and the scrunching is going to help with curl shrinkage. Now we really wanna be careful about the back of our head because it can tend to dry super quickly, which may cause the hair to get stuck. So here I'm dipping my hands under the shower and re-wetting. Next, we're going to hydrate our ends and also make sure that product is distributed by dipping our hair into our bowl. And then we're gonna go in with the next styling product, which is Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel. You guys have probably heard me talk about this one before. It's one of my OG favorites. Super high protein, I absolutely love it. But what can be difficult about this gel sometimes is that it can cause flash drying. So using it in this routine where you're constantly rehydrating your hair is your best bet. Now you might notice that I apply a ton of this. Do not be shy with this gel, you can definitely use a lot. Just going to dip my hair into the water again. Love how hydrated my clumps look. And of course, do not forget the back of the head. Now, the particular routine that I'm following today is from Power Domi. While she did not come up with the bowl method, she has an amazing tutorial on her Instagram. So I'm gonna link that in the description box down below. And if you do not already follow her, I highly, highly recommend. So now I'm going in with my third product, which is My Soigne Flaxseed Gel. If you have trouble with your curls in super dry weather, definitely consider this product. This has been a lifesaver for me this winter because it is a film forming gel. So this is an amazing option in super dry temperatures. So dipping my hair into the water again, but just to give you guys an idea of how my hair felt at this point, it just felt soft, silky, hydrated, smooth. You know, sometimes when you're applying product and it just doesn't feel right, it feels a little dry, this felt exactly like your curls should feel when it's gonna be a good hair day. Super seaweed-like, kind of slippery, a little bit of slimy from the flaxseed gel. I knew before I was even close to being done with this routine that it was gonna be a good one. So next, I'm just taking my shower cap. This just allows me to get dressed without messing up my hair. Now, before we get to the results, I just wanna show a quick comparison of my hair at the beginning of this routine and at the end. I don't know if you guys can tell as much as I can, but at the end, I think my curls look so much more hydrated and plump. And that's what I love about this routine. Consistently adding that water back in just made for super hydrated, chunky clumps, which is a look that I love. Alrighty guys, let's talk about this wash day. So I am supremely surprised at how this came out. 
starting from the top, I was extremely nervous about product distribution. So the way that I usually like to start my styling routine is with raking. And as you guys saw, this routine had zero raking whatsoever. And the reason why I like raking is because I almost feel like I'm coating every single strand and getting to the center of each curl almost. But with this routine, I was already starting with distinct curl clumps. So I was nervous about kind of coating those center strands. And that's where I think the genius lies in the bowl method. Because you're getting that product water in the bowl and then your hair sucks it up, every single strand gets coated because your curls kind of absorb that product water and in my opinion, it kind of brought it to the center of each curl. So that fixed that issue for me right away. And if we just do a little bit of a spin, I don't think any spot was missed. I have some pieces like this, which I think could have been a little bit more spirally. I do tend to like to define these shorter pieces a little bit more, but I think they came out good. With having pieces so short, sometimes they come out super wonky. So I was afraid that like styling completely upside down would just send them upright, but it doesn't seem to have been an issue. Something that I was also nervous about with this routine being completely upside down is having my hair stick to the back of my head. But as you guys saw, I was continuously wetting that area and scrunching side to side, so that was not an issue at all. I didn't really have to do any extra styling to that area. But if your curls are wet enough at the root, they should be able to move around no problem. I really thought that this was just gonna be something that was like, I don't know, just kind of gimmicky. Like I, I really do trust Domi and all of her like techniques and routines, but this was the one thing that I was like, I don't know about that. It's definitely something I would do again. Using the bowl, I didn't feel it was annoying. I watched it kind of add more hydration to my curls. You know, I watched as those curl clumps reformed. It was super duper easy. So if you guys end up trying this routine, make sure to use hashtag bowl method on Instagram. But if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and drop me a comment if this is something that you would try. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, night, whatever time it is. It is 11.23 p.m. for me and the oven is beeping because I got lasagna going. I'll see you guys soon.